Hello everybody, in this video I want to show you how you can connect the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to your Windows PC remotely or wired and this is without using Steam at all. We're going to use an open source free software in order to do that. So let me show you. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pair the DualSense controller with Windows. I'm using this on Windows 10. So what you need to do is just tap the Windows icon and start typing Bluetooth and you're going to see Bluetooth in other devices settings. Then click this option. Now make sure Bluetooth is turned on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to activate the discovery on the PlayStation controller so it can be discovered. To do that, you need to press both the sharing button and the PlayStation button for several seconds you see those in circles until the lights, which you're going to see where the arrows are pointing at, are flashing. If those lights are flashing, we are ready for the next step. Next, we're going to tap Add Bluetooth or Other Device and choose Bluetooth option in the Edit Device window. You're going to see now Wireless Controller. Tap this one. Now, Windows will be connecting to the controller and it will be added to the list. So basically now the controller is connected to Windows. Next, we need to download an open source software called DS4 Windows. As you can see, the address is at the top on gtop.com. Enter this address. I've got a link to it in the description of this video, so we can tap there as well. And download the latest version of the software. So in the time of making this video, this is the latest version. You might see, of course, something different. Download and after that we need to execute this software go into the inner folder and run this for windows.exe run this file and this will open the software now, after you launch uh this software if you don't see the controller appear here it's empty uh, we need to go to uh, profiles and you can use the default profile by the way you don't need to create another one i created another one just in case i connect something else so went to profiles, you can use the default. I created another, click new, and created uh, another profile for DualSense. And once I click it, I have different options. Here you can actually test that it's working. The controller should work by now. We can go to controller reading. Now we can actually move the, con the different buttons and the sticks and see if it works. If it doesn't work, maybe you just waited a bit too much and the controller is, is sleeping. So just tap the PlayStation button to wake it up. Then the software will recognize it again uh, and it will be connected, all right? Just in case you don't have any reading. But you should have if it's already wake up. You can see if it's wake up by seeing the blue lines on the controller that they are lit. And as you can see here, I'm moving the stick and the software actually reads everything. Then I can actually save the setting for this one just in case I want different profiles for different games or whatever. And you're going to see it here. Again, if you can see it here, even after you actually uh, connected the controller, make sure to wake up the controller and you're going to see the connected device. Now, the other thing I recommend is going to the settings and make sure it's going to run at startup so you don't need to run it every time the computer starts. All right? So you're just going to tick run at startup. Then, of course, I went to check it out in Overwatch Beta. Overwatch 2 beta, and it worked perfectly. Of course, the mapping, the icons are going to be for the Xbox, but again, you're going to get used to it. Uh, and I, it's a shooter, so I really just test it out, and it just worked perfectly. It just worked perfectly with the DualSense PlayStation 5 controller, with the software. I noticed, I haven't noticed anything, any lagging, nothing. It just worked perfectly. So there you go. Now you have your PlayStation 5 DualSense controller connected to your Windows PC without using any Steam software. But keep in mind that you can also connect it using a USB cable uh, and the software can detect it not just via Bluetooth, but also when you connect it via cable. So this is another option that you can do as well. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Consider leaving a like, subscribe. I see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.